That's going to be an issue. So, I'm not going to fix that. I guess everybody's going to get a different angle tonight. YouTube and TikTok. Hey, Frank. Hey, Ray. Well, the issue is I am trying to adjust my YouTube camera and my TikTok camera to where everybody can see everything. I finally got my YouTube camera back working. So I'm glad to be back on YouTube for a change. It's been a while. But I finally got me a new charger, so I'm back on YouTube. Thankfully. It's been so long since I've been over here. I might not have no viewers over here. But maybe they'll catch back catch back up with me a little later, I hope. They can always watch the YouTube one later. So if any of you guys want to come back and uh, watch the YouTube one later on the TikTok side, you know you can. Because uh, once you do it on YouTube, it's it's there. All right, can everybody Yeah, me too, Paul. I got a like I said, I just got me another charger, so I'm back on YouTube. So tonight I'm gonna try to keep up with both conversations. <clears throat> the ones on TikTok and the ones on YouTube. This ought to be fun. <laughs> I got more clowns on uh on TikTok. That's where all the fun is. So, all right. Let's show We're showing 33 on TikTok and one on YouTube. So, I guess first thing, uh, YouTube side is. Everything look good, sound good. Paul, does everything sound good and look good on the YouTube side? Hey, Danita. All right, well, I don't know if Paul can hear me or not. What about the TikTok side? Can everybody see and hear me? Hey, Triple Eight. Just some paint. Yes, and yep. All right, good. I still don't know about the uh, YouTube side. I don't have an answer back over here, but maybe they can hear me. I hope so. I think they can see everything. Hi, Marty. I think I spoke to Danita and Ray and everybody else, I think. Hey, Tracy.
All right, first things first, I guess. Uh, tonight, I plan on keeping it kind of simple. I've got a 16 by 20 inch canvas turned on landscape. I've already covered it with a very thin coat of liquid white. And right now I'm live on. Okay. Thank you, Paul. Can you hear me good? Paul said it looks good. So I guess he can hear me or he wouldn't answer that. All right, Dixie said she can hear four. All right. So if we got good sound, good picture and everything, all we need now is a good painter. But since he's not available tonight, I'll fill in for him. <laughs> uh, all right. Paul is good to go on the YouTube side. All right. I'm on time. Look at, look at Eric on time. Wow. All right. Colors I'm going to use tonight are titanium white. I got out a little bit of phthalo green. I may or may not use it. I'm not 100% sure. Prussian blue. Lizard crimson. Midnight black. Dark sienna. Van Dyke Brown, Sap Green, Cad Yellow, Yellow Ochre, Indian Yellow, and the Evil Bright Red. And I may use some of the little spring colors uh, later on down the line because tonight's just going to be, uh, like I said, it's just going to be a little uh, simple kind of painting with a... Uh, kind of a spring feel to it. So I guess first things first, I'm going to pick up a two inch brush. Now, if anybody wants to get off the TikTok side and go to the uh, YouTube side, the view over there is going to be twice as good as the TikTok side because the phone will not do near as good a job as the camera. But that's entirely up to you guys. If y'all content watching it on the where you're at on the TikTok side, then that's fine. But if not, if you want a better view, the YouTube side is going to have a much better view. All right. Starting out with a two-inch brush, I'm going to come right here and just tap straight down into a lizard crimson. And I'm going to start... Oh, I guess about right in here. And I just want to kind of bring this lizard and crimson across. About like so. And I'll come down here. And I'll just brush a little across because you know we're gonna have water in here later. Or I know that. I guess you guys don't have to know that yet, but I do know it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it put it in here. All right, then we'll come right next door to that and pick up just a little bit of the Taylo Blue. And a little bit more of crimson. I kind of want this to be a kind of a lavender color. And I'm going to come right up here and just, just kind of brush this in to the lavender color here. I mean to the illusion crimson. I found that if you if you go with a darker color, which is these, you know, the, the lavender is darker than the uh, crimson. If you use a darker color uh, next, 
you know, like after you put the crimson on, bring some of it on down into your crimson. And that way you kind of, it starts doing your blending for you. And that way when you do come back up to go to blending out, it'll make it a little bit easier. Or it does for me. I'll say it that way. All right, we'll come right back up. Get a little bit of both colors again. Now this time I'm going to come over into the Midnight Black and add a little of that to the brush. So now I have a Lizard Crimson, Prussian Blue, and Midnight Black on the brush. So I'll come right up here now. And this should be a lot darker color. It should be a lot darker lavender or purple than the other color. So just like that, I'll uh, add that color. Then I'll just come down here and just brush all these colors right into the water. Just like so. Then I'll go ahead and go over the crimson again. And don't forget these colors are going to pick up the the liquid white on the canvas and then I want to I want the bottom darker than the rest so I'll get those same three colors again and I'll just darken up the bottom and this is that same three colors that we used up here same three and then I'll just start coming up and just let them blend as I come up, just like that. Okay, what are we painting? Uh, I'm painting a kind of like a spring time uh, with like a mountain and some a lake and some land and uh, maybe a few flowers. I don't know, but it's gonna be it's gonna be more to the springtime type, you know, time of year more than the uh, fall or winter. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this brush in the thinner and just grab a clean, dry brush. I'll come right over here at the uh, bottom of the crimson. All right, I'm going to pick up just a little bit of white. Just a little bit. Don't need much. I'm going to put that white in here. Because I want the bottom of it to be light. You know, you always want your atmosphere or your horizon line to be light on both sides. On the water side and the sky side. All right, then we'll just keep just lightly blending here across. And just, just work this guy right in together. Let all these colors blend together up here. You see, by using that darker color at the very top, it lets our corners be darker too. So, uh, That's always a big help. Always. You want your when you when you paint anything, you always kind of want your uh, your corners darker, and that way it kind of just leads the eye to the uh, to the center of the canvas, and that always helps. Hi Valerie, saw you on my F Y Z F Y P. Uh, well, Valerie, I'm glad you're here, but I, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I haven't been on TikTok very long. So, for your page. Okay. 
Is that something I did or is that something TikTok did? You came on the feed. Oh wow, okay. Well uh maybe maybe TikTok sharing my videos a little more because uh I had the uh 117,000 views or likes, that's what it was like, not views. Uh one night not too it was a couple nights ago. So uh I hope you're not offended by doing that. If, if so, I, I apologize. But you are very welcome here if you want to stay. Well, what rage you see? <laughs> Happy to be here. Oh, okay. You're a painter too. Good. Well, if throughout this painting you like what you see and you want to you want to follow me or whatever, I will follow you back. I try to follow all artists back. Uh, I don't care what medium you paint or whatever. But just to tell you briefly about myself, I am a Bob Ross instructor. In December, I will have been an instructor for four years. I've been painting for a total of six years. Uh, I use all Bob Ross products because I am a Bob Ross instructor. And I also have a YouTube page. And my TikTok family helped me get to my 1,000. And that just happened. And I just love to paint. And we just, we have a ball in here. So if you do, you know, if you want to check it out, my YouTube channel, it's Painting with Harold. Um, I don't know if you do YouTube or not, but if you subscribe over there, <coughs> I'll subscribe back to it too. I mean, I try to support all artists. I wish all artists did the same, but here lately it seems to be competition more than anything. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. But we do, we have fun in there. I'll tell you that. <laughs> hey, MC. Uh, MC, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to do a uh, kind of like a spring theme type of thing. I've been hung up here lately on these spooky ones and uh, all of these winter ones. So I just thought it'd be kind of fun tonight to do a, uh, just a little springtime pain that, you know, it's not real hard to do. What's up, Kyle? I wouldn't even know where to begin guessing that, buddy. You hit a thousand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm at a thousand. <laughs> we did that the other night. All right. I want to. I want to put some clouds in here. I just don't know. Yeah, we finally got there, Kyle. We did some celebrating that night, too. All right. Let me see here. I think, I think just to keep things kind of simple tonight, I'll do, I'll just do some little, just little simple uh, type clouds, nothing nothing real fancy, you know, just just the ones we do with the uh, fan brush, making the little circles, nothing real hard. I've been peeking in here and there, and you have very, very beautiful paintings. Well, thank you, Gina. I appreciate that. You're more than welcome to join us here. We, uh, like I was just telling Valerie, uh, we try to have fun in here, and we try to do a pretty decent painting. No, Kyle, we don't know what winter is. <laughs> we really don't. If we get if we get two inches of snow, it shuts everything down around here. Everything. 
right, then I'll come in on this side and I'll just add another one over here. Now, if we get a decent looking sky, that's all I'm really worried with in this painting. Uh, the sky is not the uh, focus of this painting. Now, the colors, I just I just picked them out just to just to add a little interest. All right, then I'll put a couple more inch brush right quick. I'll come up here with just a corner of the brush. I want to lightly blend out the bottom. Just making little circles. Being careful to stab at the top. So it don't destroy the top. And I'll do the same on this side. I'm just going to knock the rest of that paint out on my brush so it's clean and dry again. Then I'm going to just come up here and just very lightly just fluff it up. And that's just making like a little backward C. Just pulling it out. And then I'll just real lightly blend across and just set them down right into the sky just barely touching I mean barely touching in fact when you're doing this you're almost missing the canvas that's how light a touch it is alright I'm going to start washing that one now Okay. All right, I'm gonna pick up a my big knife. Well, Gina, I don't know if it'll help you or not. It may, but check out my YouTube channel. Uh, I've got over two hundred step-by-step -step tutorials there that uh, it may help you. And if you get confused about something along the way, feel free to reach out and contact me. Uh, I'll help you all I can. And if you have any questions at all while you're in here, usually uh, there is usually anywhere from five to sometimes 10 very good artists in here. And if like, if I miss a question or something like that, a lot of times they will, uh, they'll see it and they can help and they're always willing to help. That's the thing. And don't think that any question dumb in here is, it's just not, it's, I mean, we, we kind of in here, it's kind of like we're all family. So welcome. And I hope you enjoy. Hey, Alan. Thank you, Paul. All right, I'm going to come up here now. And I'm going to pull out some of my Van Dyke Brown. I'm going to pull it out as flat as I can get it. And I'll pick up the little roll. It seems like any time you're dealing with this knife and paint you want that little roll for some reason all right i'll come i think i'll start on this side tonight 
and I'll just come right up here into the cloud. And we'll just start building that little, little mountain up here. I don't want one of them teepee looking mounds or ice cream cone upside down tonight. I just want to just a different kind of different kind of look. Yes, Paul, it is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Right, I'll come in here. I want to I want to really try to stay away from uh real sharp points in this mountain. I don't I don't want to peak. I just want to kind of round it off. Just something a little different. I'll just bring this one on down. All we worried about is that outside edge. Remember that, always. You know, what, what all is happening down in the body of it, we could care less right now. and scrape as much of it out as you can. <coughs> now I'm going to grab me another two inch brush over here. Out here, and just start pulling this color out. Out and down. Get as close to your lines as you can without going outside of them. Because if you go outside of them, your mountain's going to grow on you. Don't forget that. But now if it does, it's not a big deal. You're just going to have a little bit bigger mountain. That's all. I've seen people do that and go outside of them lines and just panic. When I was teaching classes, they would... I would say any questions, and the first thing they'd say is, would you come look at my mountain? I think I messed it up. And I get back there, and all it is, is they've done touched a little bit outside the line, and you just clean it up, you know, and uh, just keep keep on going. Thank you, Dixie. Thank you, Tracy. over here and just kind of brush out the bottom just to kind of clean it up some. Let's take out some of the brush strokes.
All right, I'm going to go ahead and wash a couple brushes. Now, like I said, if any of you guys want to leave TikTok and go to the YouTube channel just to see the difference in camera, if nothing else, go over there and check it out. And uh, I'm telling you now, you'll see the difference between YouTube and TikTok. It's so much better on YouTube with that camera. Do you still conduct teaching in a classroom setting? Uh, Andy, COVID kind of messed me up on my classes. Uh, I've done, since then, I've done several, like, little private classes. And uh, the, uh, like, the, the bigger classes of 10 or more people. I haven't, I haven't done those in a while. I may start back up, uh, maybe next year, if things kind of change some. But right now, I'm enjoying uh, teaching on YouTube and TikTok, and I've been thinking about doing some one-on-one uh, -on -one classes over. Uh, hey, Rob, like over a social media platform. And just just paint with one individual person that way. And uh have kind of like a class setting just with one person at a time. I think that'd be kind of fun too, so. I may give it a go, you know, and see if it's successful. And if not, then I won't do that anymore. I've mentioned it a few times, and I've got several uh, several comments that you know were pretty positive that that they would like to do it, but uh, you know, I know people will say anything and then do something totally different. I guess I'll just have to wait and see how it works out. Right. Now, Frank said he's going to check out YouTube. See you over there now, Frank. All right, I'm gonna come over here and grab my, my knife again. And I'm gonna bring me some uh, clean white out. And I'll just bring it down here where I can work with it. Then I'll take just a little bit of my dark sienna and pull it out. Get just a little bit of the white bring over here. And just kind of kind of marble mix these together. Just lighten that dark sheen up some. And then we'll add just a little bit of yellow ochre in it. So that's white and a little bit of yellow ochre. I'll put just a little bit more white. And like I said, I'm just marble mixing these colors. I'm not thoroughly mixing. Something that may bring even more into the family of doing side by side teaching on TikTok. Uh, I'm going to do some side by side paintings on TikTok. But the thing of it is, uh, trying to do. A lesson like that, Eric, it would be fair to uh, the person that's on at the time. What do you do? I'm double wide debris. 
on YouTube. And did the YouTube channel. Oh, Dixie Trucker answered you. Painting with hair. Oh, yeah, Frank. I'm telling you, it's different, way much different between the camera and the uh, phone picture. I'm going to come over here into this color we just made. And again, grab that little roll of paint. And I will, I'm going to start right here. And I just want to barely start pulling this color down. What's up, Biden? Just barely, barely letting that paint touch that canvas. And you just slowly pull it down. Get your hands stuck together. All right, then I'll come. And again, I'm just just very lightly pulling this color down. Just letting that color break. To this one, same thing, just real light, very, very easy touch right here, no pressure at all. Oh, okay. You're getting ready to go deer hunting. Same thing on this side. Just right through here. All right, can everybody see that fairly well? Thank you, bud. Hi, Catherine. Thank you very much. I'm actually a, uh, thank you, Paul. I'm actually a uh, Bob Ross instructor, Catherine. But thank you for saying that. Yes and yes. All right, good deal. All right, now I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to grab just some white, and I'll bring it up here. And I'll pick up just another little bit. I 
about that much if y'all can see it. Okay. That's good to know, Jesse. Thank you for telling me. All right, now this time I'm just putting just a little bit of the white and the dark sienna together. I'm not going to use the yellow ochre this time. Thank you, Catherine. I appreciate it. Thank you, Rod. Man, I was so glad to have them 1,000 subs. I'm telling you. All my friends came together and made it happen. It's live, Eric. I'm live on YouTube and I'm live on TikTok at the same time. So everything you see right now is happening right now. All right. I just barely want to rub them two colors that I just made. The uh, dark sienna and the white. Just very lightly come over them. Just like we did with the first color. And just let that paint break. And that's just from very, very, very light pressure. Very light. And we basically just gonna let this be our highlight color. That's all we're doing. And then that first color we applied, it's gonna be kind of like our mid-ground color or mid-color, whichever one you prefer to call it. And that just adds a little bit of uh, dimension to the overall part of it. And then this little part right here, it'll kind of look like snowing away, but it also, hey, Zach, It'll also look like, uh, what am I trying to say? It'll also look like uh, the snow is melting and kind of just kind of going away. Do you ever tap the blade in spots? Yeah, I, I was tapping the blade a good bit right then, bud. Watching YouTube on the Xbox. Oh, you got it going on, don't you, Frank? About like so. That's all we got to do. Now, I'm going to come up here, get a little bit of the Prussian blue, and a little bit of the Van Dyke brown, and the white, and I'm going to mix all these colors together, and I'm looking for a bluish, kind of gray blue Almost. And it don't have to be mixed real, real good either. It can be just kind of marble as well. Then I'll take a little roll of it. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to start using the, the little edge of my knife now. So I'm just, I'm grabbing little small, little small rolls of it now. And I want to come right in here behind this 
uh, at the top where I stopped at a minute ago. And I want to just start bringing just a little bit of this color in here for the shadow color. And I'm just pulling it in right behind my highlights. I always pull it at the opposite angle of your highlight. Uh, yes, Zach. Everything I use is Bob Ross because I am a Bob Ross instructor. So I use all Bob Ross products. All right, then I'll pick up just a little bit more. I'll come over on this side now. And just start pulling it down. And just like the highlight side, there's no pressure. You don't have to add any pressure. Just let that just let that paint just drag right off the knife. Very, very easy. A pointy toothpick. Okay. Well, I'm sure that works. See? Sounds like you got it figured out. All right, now right here, all right, let me do this first. Right in here, I want to grab this paint, and I want to start pulling them together right in here. I want this peak over here to kind of kind of come back and go into this mountain on this side. About like so. And I hope that showed up. I'll come back up here in the shadow color. I'll just bring it over at that same angle. I'm just kind of work it around in here. Just like so. And just remember, it don't ever take as much shadow as it does highlight. So just remember that. And then in here, in some of these places, you can come in here and add like some of the ridges. Just kind of make them stand out on their own. And that'll just give your mountain a whole new look. Three ten to you, <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. I appreciate it. I watched that movie not too long ago, Jeffro. Thank you, Crystal. I appreciate that. All right, now we'll come over here. Now, one of the things that I try to do when I'm doing mountains is, is I try to cover up with paint my outside lines. To me, it uh, it just gives the mountain more of a kind of a realistic 3D type look without having to uh, to do a whole lot of work. You know, something that simple you wouldn't think really matters, but it does. And uh. Okay, everybody seeing YouTube seems fuzzy. Let me see if I can. Oh, Lord, I hit the phone. All right, does that look any better on YouTube? All right. It is in focus. All right, and then over here, I'm just coming right in behind these little highlights again and just pulling them out. Just let that paint break. I 
not like so. Is that all right? I want to say this right now. Don't don't get angry if I don't. But is that Jay Pooks? Is that what it says? Well, thank you, Jay. Thank you, Crystal. Uh, Rocky, yes, it's oil paint. I'm going to pick up clean, dry, two-inch brush. Under what circumstances would you use the brush conditioner solution? Thank you, Rocky. Uh, Frank, just, uh, I mean, I just, I just use it when they, when the brush is needed. When they feel all uh, still for dry, and thank you, Danita, and uh, you know, not not real soft. That's when I do it. Uh, I made it, but I couldn't put it on. Uh, I couldn't download it. So I guess I'm going to make another one. Thank you, Tracy. All right, now with a two-inch brush, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to start at the bottom, and I'm going to start tapping up. Just come right up into the mountain. In the same direction that your highlights are coming down, or your whole mountain's coming down. I want to bring up everything that way, the same way it's coming down. That's how I want to tap back up. Once you get that done, I'm going to come back over it and just lightly, very lightly pull that color right back up into the mountain in the same direction, but just make sure you don't destroy your mountain. All we're doing is just lightly tapping the bottom out to give it a little bit of a misty look. Then you can come back up here and just real lightly make them little circles. You just real lightly kind of just blend it out a little bit, just like you would do on a cloud. Just real light circles. 
don't do anything uh you're drastic in here and then just come back and move your brush strokes All right, now I'm going to come right over here into the cad yellow. I'll pick up a little of the sap green, a little of crimson, I mean ochre, even a little bit of the Indian yellow. And I'll just mix all these colors together right here on the brush. That's cad yellow. Yellow ochre, Indian yellow, and sap green. And I just, like I said, I'm just just brush mixing all these colors right together. Thank you, Rocky. Thank you, Justice. All right, now. <coughs> I'm going to come right back up here. And I want to just tap on the mountain down the side with this color we just made. And then you can go up the mountain just a little bit. You don't have to go up it far. And just, just kind of tap you on some little indications of grass up here. Like you got a little bit of grass kind of growing off the side. But now be sure to pay attention to your angles here. You want it to come down to the same angle as your, as your mountain. Because if not, it's going to look kind of, it's like, you know, it's going to look all janked up. <laughs> if that's a word. I don't know if that's a word. It's not going to look proper. But now on this side, see how I started out with the dark? Because my light is actually coming from this side. But I feel like the cloud kind of kind of blocked that a little bit. But if you don't want to, if you want to lighten it back up, just come back and get you some plain cad yellow. And just go right back over it and it'll clean it right up. Love the sound effects. <laughs> Sometimes I forget y'all can hear me. Y'all have to remind me of that stuff. I'd be like, Harold, you're doing it again. <laughs> uh, the YouTube side is dead. They ain't doing nothing. Redneck Dictionary. That's right, Jeff Rowe. All right. Now I want to come right back up here again using the same color. And I'm just lightly tapping. Just lightly tapping. Now when you get to where you're coming straight down, that messes with a lot of people. So I'm going to show you how I, how I do that. What I do is, like, if I know i got a, an angle right here, and I and tapping sideways is harder, I mean, easier, you know, showing you your angles. To come straight down is kind of hard. So what I do is I'll just take my brush and I'll start right here. And I'll just, I'll just kind of work this around like so. Kind of in a little circular motion right here. And I'll just keep doing that until I get back down here at almost level. Not like so. And to me, it just, it kind of looks like, you know, like you just got a little hump right in there. But then, you know, just keep your, keep your other, uh, your other angles, just keep them up. You know, don't, don't change them. And to me, it just looks like all that 
uh, just transcends together. You know, without coming up here trying to do straight lines down. If you, you know, if you just do little, you know, make make you just like a little heel right in here. To me, it just looks like it. I don't know. It may not to everybody else, but to me, it does. What is the proper way, if any? Proper way for what, Frank? Toughest things to you. Nothing wrong with it. Oh, I do get into it, Jeff. <laughs> I do get into it. All right, now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in here and make this color just a little bit darker. And, and you might be able to see the, the effect. See how it makes it look like a little heel right there? I mean, it just comes right off of that. And you just, if you just keep it that way, it just looks like a smooth transition across there. Can y'all see that, how it did that? I want it to make sense, what I'm saying. I know sometimes I get to explaining stuff that sometimes it don't come out the way I mean for it to. Hey, Jan. Sorry to hear that. Hey, John. Hey, Negan. Or Negan. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, it's no problem, man. Or, it's no problem. All right, then I'll come over here. And I'll just start bringing out the little grass this way. Now, the only reason I'm bringing it out over this far is just for the look. I mean, you won't actually have any purpose for it over here. Other than it being seen. We're going to clean this brush again just right quick. All right, now my intentions were to make this grass look like it, first of all, like it's far off. But I also wanted it to appear like it's just now getting to be spring and some of the snow has melted off the mountain and, and things are just starting to grow again. Right. Now with a clean dry brush, I'm going to come right back up here into my white with a brush sideways and just going to tap back right into the white. And it don't take a lot of paint right here to do this. But I'm going to come over here at the base of the white, and I just want to start just real lightly tapping along the bottom here. Again, in the same direction that the, the paint was coming down earlier. I just want to keep it in those same, those same angles.
And again, this is just real light taps. Real light. If you tap too hard, you, you, all your grass is just going to disappear. And we don't want to kill all of it. In fact, once you go up and pick up some of the color, you can come right back down into it. And it'll, uh, that'll affect, it'll just happen automatically. Where's your viewers tapping the screen? Uh, conservative, their fingers may hurt. The other night we had 100,000 likes. <laughs> so we may have some hurting fingers. I cannot believe we got to 100,000, but we did it. be all fair I hadn't mentioned nobody tap tonight so I guess it's kind of my fault too all right now very lightly again I'm gonna come back and pull that white up right into the grass just like we did earlier on the mountain just pull it right in that's all I'm doing and then come along and just kind of brush out the bottom Yes, Kelly, we got the 1,000, uh, oh, goodness, right before last, I think. I think that's when it was. Thanks to everybody. I mean, we was constantly advertising it the other night because <laughs> we got to like 990-something. I mean, we was close. All right, now I'm just going to come across here with some white again, and this is just random white. I'm just doing this for some mist effect. Now I'm tapping pretty hard now, so if y'all want to tap, now's the time to do it. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Tiffany. All right. Now, once again, come in here very lightly. Pull this color up. And then brush the bottom. Come up here into my dark sienna, Van Dyke brown, and a little bit of the sap green. And tap a little of this color in on the brush. That's Van Dyke brown, dark sienna, and a little bit of the sap green. And I'm gonna come across here. Just don't kill all of that, all that mess we just made. Make sure you leave some. Just wanna come across here with a little, little foot heel.
Well, thank you, John. I appreciate that. Just come across here and kind of kind of fill the bottom in. You know, give it a little body across here. Now you don't want this so dark that you can't see some of the green in it. Because like I said, we want to we want the uh I'm doing good, buddy. I hope you are too, John. Thank you, Carlos. I kind of want the, uh, you know, to keep the the effect that this is early spring, and that's you know this is kind of one way to do that is by letting that green show, even even though it's far off back here. You know, I still want you to be able to see that. You know, it looks like. Things have kind of changed, and we got a little green showing now. Uh, Austin, I, I like uh, I like TikTok and Facebook. I love both of them. I love painting on both of them. I got a lot of good friends on both social media platforms right now. Uh, I haven't, well, I've done one Facebook Live. Uh, but I can't do but two right now. I don't have three uh, devices. So many people who say it's bad. Yet yeah, I want to post here because of how big it is. Oh, it, it's not that bad, Austin. You just, I mean, you're going to run into, you're going to run into buttholes on any platform. I mean, it's, it's just going to happen. But, man, you just got to overlook them, folks. Thank you, Brenda. The one thing I found is, if, you know, if you treat people right, They'll uh, they'll treat you right, but for the most part, it's it's been a real good experience for me. Now, you know that may change tomorrow. I don't know, but so far I love it. And I haven't been able to be on YouTube in quite some time because my charger went out on my phone, so I ain't been able to do a live over there. I've been posting a bunch of shorts, and uh, them shorts just, they don't help me a whole lot, like they do some people. Well, thank you, Paul. All right. I don't look like little distant trees way off in the distance. Well, Austin, I really wish I could give you, you know, some genuine advice, but, uh, I mean, seriously, you, you're gonna you're gonna run into it on any of your uh, social media platforms. I mean, really. The other night in here, you know, uh, and you can ask anybody that's a regular in here. We normally have a good time, no trouble whatsoever. We laugh, we have fun. But the other night, you know, just out of nowhere, we had this. This guy that just had to come in and, and cause problems, and uh, we just had to politely get rid of him. Because several times in my run 
or in, I won't say my room, but in my life, I've had a, I've had parents with their five year olds and their three year olds watching, and uh, I just I'm not going to tolerate anybody being ugly in front of no children. I wouldn't want anybody doing my grandchildren that way. So you have to just you have to kind of be firm, you know, but polite at the same time. It's sometimes it's nerve testing, but you know. It's not real hard to be a bigger man sometimes and just do what you got to do. But you're going to have them in all walks of life. I mean, that's that's just the truth of it. Now I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to grab a two-inch brush. I just washed and cleaned it up, and I'm going to grab the same three colors, the green, the light brown, dark sienna, mix them all right on the brush again, and just tap them all in. Makes me happy that there's the good side in TikTok. No, everybody's not bad by no means. No. <laughs> uh, man, there's some, I got some dy dynamite friends and family in here. But it's because we all work together as a family in here. Uh, they don't appreciate it no more than I do. And we just, you know, we're just not going to tolerate a whole bunch of craziness. There's no reason to. It's uncalled for. All right, now I want to come up here. And see how these trees swoop down and come back up? All right, so when you pull the first ones down, pull them down a little further than these. And then your reflections will start taking on the shape of your land up here. See how it's doing that? Then you just keep coming out. But don't do it like I just did. Keep them straight. And then just start working your way back on this side. And let it get taller and taller. And then your reflections in your water kind of maintain your land look. And you just pull these straight down. Just like that. That's exactly right, Kelly. And Tiffany. This side over here is not straight. So I gotta come back and fix that. You don't want your tree, your reflection to be bent. You want them to come straight down. That looks way better to me. Uh, this is oil paint, cuz. I like that. Just name Cubs. That's easy to remember. Thank you, Tracy. Okay, I know what's fixing to happen up here. So that's kind of why I'm doing this step right here. Uh, <laughs> I'm cheating. But I know I'm just to put two trees in here. Actually, three. Now, that's not the reason I'm doing this. 
Uh, I am cheating a little bit. Thank you, cuz. You on the good side. Well, thank you, Kevin. It's so amazing that you can complete these in one day. Well, Sarah, it's uh it's just a lot of practice. That's all it is. A lot of practice. All right, guys, y'all gonna get all of my favorites again. All right. You see what I'm doing there? <laughs> I'm just going to try to sneak in. All right. Grab a fan brush. Thank you, D. Now we'll come up here in the same colors again. That's Van Dyke Brown, Dark Sienna. And sap green, same three colors. Okay, I'm just pulling the fan brush through it on both sides, mixing these colors right on the brush. Just looking for a good dark color. All right, Karen. All right, now I want to come over here and I'll start. Uh, I'll start right here in the middle. Now, you know, I just put these reflections down here. So now you're fixing to see why. All right. Tonight, I'm going to do the uh, push up trees instead of the push down trees. First one you want to start with, just kind of, and then when you start doing the trees, push up with the fan brush instead of down like we normally do. We're going to push up. And we're just going to create a little evergreen right here. And you can just bring it down to your shadow line right there. That's all you got to do. Thank you, Khaleesi. Come right back up here, get some more color, same three colors. Load the brush up. Then we'll come right beside this one. I'll make it just a little bit shorter. here same thing a couple little touches first and then just start pushing up with the brush then you can bring it right down to the reflection then we load the brush up again Come right over here. I'll kind of, I'll put a little bit of lean in this one, just a little bit, just to make him look a little bit more dramatic. We'll let this one be female. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get in trouble for that one. <laughs> Glad my wife ain't in here right now. Woo. I bet that'll get some comments. We're gonna mess around and get out of the algorithm with that comment. All right. 
Same thing over here. Just push it up. Well, before I get too many comments and get myself in trouble, I will say this. This one made these complete. So... Hopefully that redeemed me. Yeah. All right, now at the bottom of these, I'm just going to come up here right at the line that I made. And I just want to come across here. And just tap a little grass looking stuff on. But I figured every woman in there was either just gonna cuss me out or leave. Now with the side of the, the fan brush, I want to just come up here and just kind of wiggle some indications of little little uh distant bushes and trees you know just little indications right here then i'll come over here into my my black and i'm gonna come at the bottom of these and the tops and just some of them i want to add some dark color in here too and all i'm doing is just just wiggling this brush because all i want is like just little indications of uh stuff back here and I'm going to change the colors in, you know along the way do some of them with the green some of them with the black and just keep that keep that line in here And just, just make a little, and you do little uh, lines of grass. You know, you don't have to have something sticking up everywhere. Come back along and just tap it real lightly. And then make them look like they're way far in the background. Because I did say, at the beginning of this, came from TikTok. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see it. All right, that'll work, man. But all this is is just little, you know, I'm just making little indications of. Shrubbery and stuff back here. So I'm doing. Now I know right now it looks like I'm just making a mess, but it, it'll all it'll all come out in the end. Thank you, Carolyn. I appreciate that. I think you're right, Eric. I don't think nobody heard it. I'll stop that right there for now. You gotta trust the process. Uh no, MC, that was a fan brush. I was just using a corner of it. All right, now if anybody's just joining me, 
tonight for your first time. Uh, I appreciate follows and I've got a, uh, you can get subscribed over here. Uh, you can go to my YouTube channel, subscribe over there. It's free over there. Thank you, Laura. We heard we're contemplating our next move. What does that mean, Karen? Phone's almost dead. All right, Rod, have a great night, man. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Spider. What does that mean, contemplating your next move, Laura? All right, I'm going to come across here now. And I just want to real lightly pull across these trees here. And then these, I'm just going to kind of go side to side right there. And them. Just add a little, little flavor to them. What you said about, oh, oh, somebody did hear it, Eric. <laughs> I just saw the quotation mark. Oh, your comedy painting. I love the shades of blue, very nostalgic. Oh, thank you, Austin. I've got a. Uh, I don't know how many I got posted in my Etsy store. I think about ten of them right now. I got quite a few to post over there, but. <laughs> now, Ray, you didn't miss the bats. Well, I guess you kind of did. They were here a minute and then they flew away. So, yeah, I guess you kind of did miss them. And I'm pretty sure they won't be back tonight because they left in a hurry. Alright, I'm gonna come right up here under my little tree line I made and I wanna pull just a little indication of a bank up here. Now I'm just pulling this out at an angle up here. Just out and down at an angle. Then I'll just pull one straight down right in here a little bit. Then I'll start back at the other end. Kind of, kind of make it look uniform. And that's all I'm doing. Is just pulling it out and down toward the center. That's all I'm doing. Come on, Karen, you ain't got to tell everybody that. I thought we was over that by now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where you at, Eric? <laughs> Eric, they don't, the women know about it now. 
Okay, the bay don't care now. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I'll, not, I'll scroll through uh, TikTok sometime. Uh oh. Yep. The YouTube side is dead. Yeah, that's right, y'all. Y'all got to prove it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pick up just a little bit more of the dark sienna and put this highlight color I made earlier. Now, just like if you was putting snow on a mountain, I'm going to come up here and just lightly touch this and just... Just let it pull off the knife real easy, real easy. <laughs> I'm curious to see what this is going to be. All right, just, just little indications of highlight up here on the on the rock or on the bank. Let it look like rock I guess. Oh no, we ain't doing no bats. I just had to stay in trouble. This is an NBT network. Fortune and money. Good deal, Paul. NBT network. No bats tonight. up here, pull me out just a little bit more clean white, pull through here and get me a little roll on my knife, and just come up here and just real lightly, start sawing across the canvas here, Lord, look at y'all, Bigfoots, Eagles, Hey Skeets, I could probably see an eagle soaring up here somewhere. I think he kind of, he, he'd probably come closer to fitting uh, the paint more than a, uh, than a bat. Now, Dixie didn't say nothing tonight. I'm surprised. See, all of y'all can take lessons from Dixie. Water line all the way across, just like trying to sort of just cut into the canvas.
Yes, you do, Ray. Yes, you do. Maybe a bat sitting on this guy. No, we ain't done no bats. So sorry, I'm late. Hey, Austin. All right. Uh, what's. Where's Bigfoot? Oh. Uh, He's over behind this little mountain right here, this little hill, down in that valley. I heard him growling a while ago. It's still going, Austin. Okay, let me catch everybody up right quick. When I made this tree right here a minute ago, I put a little angle in it, and I said, and this is for Austin H. I said, uh, if this little tree here, I put it sideways, so it looks like it's got a little bit of drama. I said, so we'll call it a woman. And that's what she meant when she said I could make it up to the women because I called the tree a woman because it has drama. Austin H. That's what I mean. Or that's what Ray meant when she said that. It's, it's just like a little joke that I guess just kind of got away from everybody. I don't think everybody saw it. But, ta-da. <laughs> now I'll come up here. Give me just a little bit more white. And I'll come in here. Create some little... Little ripples in the water. I didn't say that, Jess. <laughs> uh, I'm like, Eric, I need proof of that one. I said, I'm in trouble. That's what I said. I said, I'm in trouble for saying that. just come across those little ripples and just set them right down in the water so they're not too bright out here from two nights ago. Oh, Jesse, you can't be pulling stuff up from two nights ago because I don't remember stuff to that 30 minutes ago. Jesse, I went and pulled out the two day old stuff like leftovers. Like out the refrigerator kind of stuff. Lord, Lord. I might start watching you close now, Jesse. Ray rubbing off on all of y'all. First, they rubbed off on Ray. 
And I raise rubbing off on everybody else. Yeah, digging up bottom, Jerry. Seriously. On the back side. Cookies. Well, you going to make some uh, some Bigfoot cookies too. I'm doing art history essay. Well, Austin, that's one thing you don't want my help with. Countries I am, they'll throw you out of whatever you're doing it for. High school, college, whatever. Yeah, they'll be the key to plum out to come to school out. You like, you got to go. <laughs> Kim, you know they are. You know good and well they bat cookies. They got bats on the brain. I bet she wakes up at night screaming about bats. Yeah, there's two Austins in here right now. Like Batman. Exactly. All right. Now my break's over. I'll fill my, my can back up here. Uh, yes, come, come. I'll sell them on, uh, on Etsy. <coughs> uh, my Etsy store is Painting with Harold on Etsy. Uh, I don't have them all listed right now. I've got several laying over there that's already dried that I got to get pictures of. And then I got a few that's drying. And then I got three or four that I got to get shipped out. I guess I'm just going to take a couple nights off and paint and get caught up. Because I'm behind. Big time. Uh, Kun Kun, I think my wife did put that on there on on my on my profile. I think she told me she did. If not, it's just Etsy, and you go into search and type in a uh, painting with Harold. Oh, okay. Now, if you have any problems finding it, just let me know when. We'll figure it out. All right. I think before I go into uh, putting anything else on this side, I think what I'm going to do Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a trunk in these trees first. And then I will uh, I'll start highlighting.
Thank you, Karen. Yeah, I figured you meant the sky. Autocorrect has done victimized you, Karen. Alright. I'm coming right back in here with my fan brush now. You get over here in my green and my yellow. The color that I made earlier, but I don't want this color to be too bright because we can't forget this is across the lake over here. So, but we do want to be able to see the highlights too, at least enough to know that they're there. Here, first thing, to touch on just a little bit. All right, we can't forget that uh, this is push-up trees, not the down trees. So we just want to add a little bit of highlight. We don't want much over here. It's not going to take much at all. Just a little bit here and there. Just make sure you come across your trunk a couple places. That way it looks like you got limbs coming towards you. And I'm going to do this one and this one first. Then I'll come back and do that middle one. Because I want it to look like it's in front of those two. You have magnets on your... Yes, I do, Jesse. All right, Ray. So I know that your YouTube live stream is dead. What are some social media platforms? I, I don't know the answer to that, Austin. I can't tell you. Don't worry, Ray. There won't be no bats painted without you. Or with you. <laughs> there is all kind of social media platforms. YouTube, TikTok. Facebook, Instagram, uh, oh goodness, uh, I can't think of name all of them now, Twitter, uh, one that starts with a D, there's all kinds of But I do believe that that uh, TikTok, I mean that YouTube is the original, I think. YouTube's been around a long time. You put okay. You put. I will try to remember that. Now I'm going to come over here in this middle tree. Add a little bit of highlight to it. Uh oh. I don't need that. Sticking out like that.
All right, Austin. All right, now I'll come in here and get just a little bit more of this color. And then I'll come over here on some of these little, little things I made. And I'll highlight them the same way I made them. I'll just come in here and just touch on some, some green here and there. I don't want all of them green, though. Just a few of them, maybe. Just to look like little little bushes or whatever. <laughs> and I'll just skip and kind of add another one running right here. Maybe every once in a while give it a little like a little indication of a little, little tree sticking up out of here. It's kind of far off. Make sure you leave some dark at the bottom. That's real important. Uh, Austin, I guess somebody just wanted to make money. I mean, it's, it's worth billions of dollars. So I guess somebody just decided that they was going to create another. Just like if somebody was wanting to create a, another one right now. I'm sure it would gain popularity and be worth billions too. MySpace, is that still around? I know there's Zoom. I think one of them's called Discord. I think. I may be wrong on that one, but I think there's a Discord. Uh, yeah, it's just an one to deal with. But now I guess that's like, you know, choice. I mean, you know, if you if you choose to use all of them, or if you just use, you know, choose to do one, I guess that's just a. Matter of choice. Thank you, Wanda. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Wanda. <laughs> All right, let me see here. Perfect, exactly. That's what I was trying to say. All right, I'm going to come over here and just touch into my red with the corner of my fan brush just a little bit. It won't take much. Uh, yes, ma'am, I do. All right, then I want to I wanna just come right here with this red and just touch on a little bit here and there. Just, just enough that it's seen. It don't have to be. It don't have to be too bright. Just, just a little bit. Well, thank you, Austin. I appreciate it. All right, then I'll come in here. Maybe throw a little red on this one. And let's we'll get down and throw a little red on that one. Then I will wash the brush. Speaking of which, what? That kind of thing. Oh, okay. 
Hey, my Oh my god, it's a beauty sky and a pain. Well, thank you, Maven. I appreciate that. Well, I appreciate you being here for a few minutes. Because my YouTube side is dead. Uh, Paul has said a few things, and now you said something. But for the most part, it's, it's kind of dead tonight. But people got to get used to me being back on YouTube. I've been gone for so long over there. Yes, one day it's, uh, I have four cockatiels. And I have them covered, but I have one named Mr. Kitty. He thinks it's just necessary for him to be heard every night. Come here now and tap the corner just into some white. Just a little bit. I'll come over here under these trees because I think they need a little bit of color on them. Jesse, they've been they always want attention. <laughs> Austin, they, uh, they've been around this stuff ever since I started painting. And uh, they're not so close to it that it's going to hurt them. Plus, I had the room well ventilated because I don't want to hurt them. All right, lock the doors and close the windows. Cans here. All right, that means I have got to start this whole painting over now. <laughs> oh, what's up, kid? Yeah, there's the trouble. Well, thank you very much, Ken. I appreciate you stopping in. As always. All right. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. All right. Uh -huh. Let me see how I'm going to do this. Austin, first of all, you got to go to New Smyrna Beach for three weeks in Florida. All right, Ken, that'll work. Uh, I don't have a clue what I'm painting yet, so if you want to paint with me tomorrow night, just put out the standard colors I give. Or I, I can wait until you put them out when I call them out. Because I don't have a clue what I'm painting yet. So But Austin, you got to uh you gotta go to New Smyrna Beach, Florida. And you got to take a three week course. And the benefits of it, I guess, are 
just learning a few of the techniques and being able to say you're an instructor and use Bob Ross's likeness on a bunch of things without getting in trouble. Uh, you get discounts on the uh, on the material if you buy it from the company. All right, I'm going back into my browns again. All three of them. And my green again. Yeah, if you're in British Columbia, yeah, you, uh, that'd be a long way across that pond for you to come. Just be an instructor. All right, let's, let me do it this way. Ooh. All right. I'm gonna start right here, and I want to just start with the indication of no tree shape up here. I want to just make the tree like we always do, you know. Just tap on the tree shape. Yeah, we're aware of, or I am. I don't know if everybody is, but yeah, I am. Just going just like so. Thank you, Austin. I guess you're talking about the painting. You may be talking about the documentary. I don't know. Well, thank you, Linda. I appreciate that. All right. I want to come down here now and just, whoa, oh, that's too green. I don't want it to be that green. All right, Ken, see you tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Austin. Appreciate it. All right, now I just want to come across here and kind of create a little, just create a little, uh, yeah, one of them things, a peninsula. That's what I'm trying to say back here. Little island. Thank you, Purrs. Austin, I'm, <clears throat> uh, all right, first of all, uh, the authenticity of instructors is, uh, it's, it's as simple as this. All of us instructors may represent the Bob Ross Company, 
Incorporated. But with that said, we're individuals. We buy our own stuff. None of it is supplied to us. Uh, the paintings we do are all when we have classes and everything we do, it's it's our business. It's not their business. They don't receive the money off of it. Uh, them being under controversy, I would suggest going back and watching the video with a different set of eyes and a different mindset because uh, a lot of people didn't catch what was said in there apparently. Uh, there was there was a lot of things said that that shouldn't have been said and a lot of things that that should have been said. They bought the company legitimate from uh, Steve's uncle. You know, he's, he was the one that got put in charge by Bob and he sold it. So, uh, you yeah, every now and then they, they say you need to, John. But, you know, as far as questioning the authenticity of a, of a uh, instructor. No, I, I would uh, I would say that's that's very unfair to every instructor because, uh, like I said, everything I bought is bought and paid for by me. Every night I sit here and do free tutorials on social media. That's me. Uh, everybody that I help when I'm not doing videos, that's me. I don't I don't think for one minute Melissa McCarthy should ever made that documentary. You know, she should stuck to being Molly on on uh, that comedy show. Because she created a lot of stink and a lot of problems for us when she did that. And Netflix, you know, that was in on it too. But there's going to be controversy, I guess, and everything. I mean, look at Bud Light. Look at the mattress guy. I mean, you know, Mr. My Pillow guy. So nowadays, you know, you can you can say the word "ow" and you offended other people for not saying "ouch." But that's neither here nor there. Uh, Okay, let me get off my soapbox. Get back to paint. I'm gonna pick up my script liner brush. Come down up here in my black. into a thin point, very thin point, sharp point, by twisting it and pulling it out. And that'll bring your brush to a very sharp point. I hope y'all can see that. All right. And then I'm going to start at the top this time. Just start up here and you can just kind of Kind of just give yourself a little wiggle looking treatment. 
tree stump in there. Tree troll. Bring in some blood on limbs up here. Here and there. And if you've painted with them before, you know how I feel about the limbs. Some of them may show, some of them may not. And that's just part of it. I don't care if they all show or not. As long as we got the the practice of making them. some limbs. Just here and there. Nothing fancy. Because there's about a 95% chance they're going to get covered up. <coughs> but if we see some of them, then that's a good thing. And if we don't, it don't really matter. Grab my favorite brush. That's the little one inch oval. We'll come right up here. Grab me just a little bit of thinner. Shake it off. Come over here into my cad yellow and my green color. And just load this brush up by tapping straight down into it. That makes sure our bristles are open. And it loads lots of paint in the end of the brush. Then I'm going to come right up here and just start adding on a few highlights up here. And we're going to keep this a spring looking color because we we said we didn't want to we didn't want to go fall or winter with this one. Just make sure you don't kill all the dark color if you decide to do a tree like this at home. You know, you definitely want to, you definitely want to save some uh, darks. Uh, Dixie, you can just about find every episode you want on, uh, on YouTube. They got them all on there. I'm not familiar with what 2631 is. been tempted here lately to uh, give uh, the first one that sold for 10 million. I've been tempted to paint it <laughs> just to see if I can do it. I've been tempted to try it. All 
I'm going to leave it a little dark up there. And I'll stop right there on the tree. You know, Kayan said he wanted to paint a lot of women tomorrow night. <laughs> and, uh, good God. Austin, I'm not even going to answer that question, my friend. Not even going to answer. Well, Bob Ross himself used to say, don't try to copy me. We taught you a technique and released you on the world. And it's your world. So tonight, this is my world. The world's had Bob Rosses, Bill Alexander's, Picasso's, Michelangelo's, Donatello's. The world ain't never had a hair weeks. So this is hair week style. Okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Hmm. Tell you what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take my filter brush. And I'll grab just a little bit of this black over here. Because this looks awful skinny coming out the bottom of this tree. So I'm gonna make this a little bit a little bit wider. Make it look like the trunk is actually a, a little bigger. Well thank you, blessed one, very much. Now that looks like enough trunk to hold all that up. Now I'm going to come back into my color over here. Clean that trunk up just a little bit. Good night, Dixon. Have a good night. Right over here in this dark area, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this uh, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this lizard crimson. Good night, Austin. Alright, I'm gonna just I'm gonna touch some of this color over here. Because it's, since it's a darker red, I think it'll, uh, I think it'll look good back in the, 
in the shadows there. I'm coming here with just a little bit of white. Won't take much. Thank you, Tracy. All right, yeah, blessed. I've got God. I don't know how many paints in autumn colors. A bunch of them. In fact, that's probably one of my favorite seasons to paint is the autumn seasons. And I really don't know exactly how many how many autumn autumn paints I have done, to tell you the truth. This is just a uh, yellow and blue and crimson. Over here now, get just a little bit of red. I'm gonna come out here and add a couple little, a couple of firecrackers out here on the end. Thank you, Paul. I just saw you come in. All right, I'm going to wash this brush right quick since I got all that red on it now. here and get just a little bit of white. It shouldn't take a whole lot of white. And I'll do a whoa. That little dude looks like it got snowed on. And I'll come down in here. Maybe do a little white one. Thank you, Ray. All right. Now I'll pick up a little more white. And I'll come right here into the Indian yellow. I love these colors together right here. They make such a pretty sunshine coat. I'll come right here. Oh, they flew off here. Yeah, that looks real springy because it's got that that yellow mixed in with it. I like that coat. That just fit real good right in there with all that. All right. I'm going to 
going to now and get just a little bit of the Thalo Green. I knew at one point or another I was going to want Thalo Green in this paint. Alright, I'll come right here. Oh, there's a spring color. Oh, wow. I like this. Now, to me, that's a beautiful color right there. I wonder if I can make that color again. <laughs> I might add just a little bit more uh, Indian yellow in it. That way I can move it over here to the darker area. And uh, Good God, it's still popping, Mike. Good grief. It's a little darker down in there, but yeah, it is almost a teal color. It really is. Then you know much paint splatter. Uh, John, uh, not really. You gonna you gonna have some, yeah, but you know not much. Off the canvas, no. I mean, most you know how it is. Most of this stuff is such a light touch that you don't. Um, I mean, it's hard to splatter, basically. All right, I'm gonna come here and get some white now. Just straight white. Bring it over here in the red. Get me a pink color. I got some pink, but I want to make my own shade of pink. My son's game just finished. Oh, hey, Moni. Good grief. Y'all doing up some games, ain't you? It's the thinner you have to watch. Exactly, Jesse. Thank you, Wanda. I thought they were in the bushes. You said they flew off. Oh, yeah. Y'all stop at the bat. Stay down. Oh, my God. Now, that's pink. Thank you, Wanda. I'm holding out for a nice daddy Halloween painting in a month. I think Bigfoot's hiding behind that big tree. <laughs> Oh, Lord. I bet you are, Mommy. Well, thank you, conservative.
Uh, yeah, I've done a couple of uh, Wanda. Thank you, Mom. All right, I'm going to take a quick break. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Austin. I don't really care, Austin, as long as I'm paying. I don't, it don't matter to me. <laughs> All right, I got to ask y'all a question right quick. We ain't got but 28 people in here, so maybe somebody can help me with this. Uh, where do bad rainbows go? They go to prison, but it's a light sentence. It gives them time to reflect on their troubles. <laughs> Y'all are welcome. You missed it, Eric.
Fishman and the Mermaid until they film that and then they don't mind. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I use for the fog? Uh, what did I do up there? Uh, white, I think. I think that's what it was, Nunny. Thank you, Brenda. Oh, yeah, it looks golden because the grass had yellow in it. And uh, when I touched the white back over, after I'd done the grass, I, I kind of, uh, what am I trying to say? I, I missed it in out. Then I took white and come back over. That's where it picked up that that yellow, golden look. And the grass was just uh, yellow, uh, cad yellow and sap green. What what did you miss? What do you mean, Eric? What are you? What what did you miss? Thank you, Nanya. All right, what's Eric missing, y'all? He missed something. Sunrise or sunset? Yup. <laughs> Sorry, my guy had to do that. All right. Another fuse. Another fuse. Right. You ain't talking to nobody, uh, Ray. He's no longer with us. Had to wash your canvas. Oh, I hate doing that. Okay, Jesse, I think he missed your punchline. Because there was no hesitation in your in your punchline delivered. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't I don't think he I don't think he got it. Oh, did you? Okay. Not a problem, Karen. If you're thanking me for what I think you're thanking me for. I don't know about y'all, but... I tolerated it for quite some time. I did, now. Y'all know I, I gave him a fair shake. Y'all know this. But sometimes a man can only take so much.
Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Jesse May. Yes, ma'am. I was Austin from TikTok. Did you block me from saying something bad? TikTok may have got you uh, off. I got my room set for for 18 year old and uh so because kids come in here a lot TikTok watches my room close so they may have want they may have been the ones that booted you but I mean luckily you're over here on YouTube so you still watch didn't block you so I guess somebody else did but I mean see I'm on two platforms so I'm on YouTube too so you get to watch me over there so if you have any questions or comments over there like you know I don't look at it as much so if you got questions or whatever just uh, you know How old are you, by the way? That may have something to do with it. I don't really know. I don't know what happened. TikTok reads. Well, it probably reads that you've been blocked by the host because I got my settings set for kids. So if anybody comes in here and says something that TikTok don't think is kid appropriate, they uh they gonna get blocked by because of my set. Man, I ain't got time to explain all that. Right. You two should block you, so. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with maybe the eagle. <laughs> Eric said he did it. That may have been a glitch. I don't know. All right. Here we go, y'all. All right, everybody on YouTube, I just moved to Kansas. All right, it don't look like it affected it over there. All right, TikTokers, I moved to Kansas. This is just to be fun. Let's see how I'm going to do this. All right. I want to. All right. I'll make the wings first. pick up just a little bit more. 
of the burn in. <laughs> Am I painting with a fork? <laughs> oh my God. No, I'm not painting with a fork. Ooh. I think you're right, Kelly. All right. <laughs> the fork is a back scratcher that I use for my, yeah, that thing. All right. Now I want to come right up here and do like a little body of it just under here. And the, and the head part. And the tail part. I'm going to come up here, get me a little white, bring the white down here, where I can work with it. We're going to have white out on the tips of the wings. Got a white on the tail. Got a white on the head. Yeah, it works for good, John. white in now because I don't want it to be I don't want it to be the dominant color up here but I do want you to be able to see it I gotta make a little bit of orange. Just a little bit yellow. And a little bit green. Just I made a big, huge pile of orange just for this one little thing. That makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> y'all, if I'm missing anything, y'all have to uh, forgive me. Maybe re-ask it when I get, get done or whatever. Because I done got all... 
discombobulated up here. And Oh, that Austin fellow that was in here earlier, he wants to know why you blocked him. He's on Facebook right now. All right. And I'm just a little bit of, a little bit of the arms. Eric said you asked too many questions, dude. He said he couldn't even watch the painting because every time he looked up, he was wondering why something else was the way it is. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm going to put just a touch of orange and represent a beak. I don't know if it will or not, but Hopefully it does. Isn't that the point of live chat? He said he watches it because he wants to learn how to paint. Not because... Okay, hang on, he's still typing. He said he didn't care about why there's so many different platforms. He said, you just asked way too many questions, dude. Sorry. Eric, he said you should have booted him. Because, uh, paint one of his hobbies. Uh, won't you two just hug me up? Now and try to add just a little bit of highlight to the body. Not much. You all right, Ken? You still with me over there, dude? Yeah, he's still. He said most of your questions weren't about painting. So, I don't know. I was between you and Eric. I hope y'all get it worked out. I hate to see people not get along, especially in today's time. Man, I don't know. I'm sorry. You know, what can I say? I guess it's just social media for you, buddy. It's what happens when you run into people that don't agree with you to kick you out of the room. 
Yeah, that he may. I think he may have really, uh, re reported you. I don't know how you do likes over here, Kelly, on YouTube. He might have uh, reported you to TikTok, buddy. I wasn't thinking about that. I bet that's what he did. Hey, MC. Thank you, man. Well, something's moving over there, Kelly. So... You, you're doing something because I see little hearts jumping out of that heart. All right, MC. Have a good night, buddy. Well, thank you, Kelly. All right, buddy. I'll be back tomorrow night. Good Lord will. Now that I got me a charger, I'll be uh, I'll be back on YouTube a good bit. That way, I can uh, try to build my watchers back up over there. Is that the Enterprise? in the sky. I I don't know what is that? Valamant? Am I am I saying that right? Valamant? You talking about that. Hey, Zero. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's supposed to be an eagle, uh, Battle Man. No, I have not, Tracy. I guess, depending on how you look at it, it kind of does look like a spaceship. I don't need to be painting no more spa or spaceships because there's already a dude on here that does that. Uh, paint with Josh. He does all the spaceships. I tried to make an eagle, but I could see where a couple places it just it don't look like an eagle in a couple places. Maybe, I don't know. Thank you, Paul. Well, there you go, buddy. I'll let Eric know that.
Thank you, Martin. What I'm probably going to do tomorrow is uh, I'm going to come on kind of early during the day and uh, see if I can paint to a different crowd. And then tomorrow night, uh, I'm sitting eight foot from TV. I can tell it's an eagle. Thank you, Z. I didn't see you paint today. I'll have to go check it out a little bit, but I want to say hi. <laughs> I'm actually done with this one. I'm just hanging out talking now. Running off at the mouth. Uh, Kelly, the, the light increase to eight over here on YouTube, so I guess she was doing something. What time, Harold? Okay. Uh, oh, you did another skull paint. Okay. I don't really know, Ray. All right, Paul. Take it easy, buddy. Okay, is, is that Adamo Marinelli? Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I'm hoping to pick up some more subscribers off of this live over on YouTube. It's three hours long so far, so I don't really know how many people will watch it. Because I'm live on TikTok and YouTube at the same time. And there wasn't a lot of viewers in the YouTube room. So, uh, so I'm watching from YouTube. Can TikTok viewers, no, they can't see your, your uh, comments, Kevin. Thank you, Zero. Man, I was proud to get it. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you, Beefcake. Oh, uh, you can't see the people over here I'm talking to. Uh, you put, dude, uh, Eric. I'm, no, you ain't Eric. Eric's the one that you. What was your name? Austin. Yeah. Yeah. He was Austin. That's right. Thank you, Nanya. It was up to eight viewers on YouTube. I have got to start painting more on YouTube. So what's this one going to be called? Oh, let's see. I don't know.
Mind you on eight, Eric. Jess has been going back and forth. Kelly's over there hitting the like button. We need Ken. He always names him. Eagle Pass. Somebody said good one. Jim Downey. Didn't we name that uh the last eagle one? Didn't we name it Eagle Pass? Okay, Kelly, good deal. Seems like the last one we did with the Eagle, we called it Eagle Pass. I don't remember. I have no idea. Eagle Lake. You know, I used to fish on a lake called Eagle Lake. Hey, you rescue captain. I think I know who rescue captain is. All right, now it's saying six. I thought that was John. <coughs> you know that, uh, if y'all see that name floating around over there, that new pup, Mario and Sonic dude, that's that same guy that was over here on TikTok today. Kicked out while ago. Yeah, Kim, I used to fish on a lake called Eagle Lake. We had an Eagle Lake and we had a Little Eagle Lake. If you look at a lake of Mississippi, find uh oh. Goodness, what was the name of the town he's in? I don't think it was Vicksburg. I know it wasn't Yazoo City. It may have been down around Vicksburg, Eagle Lake. I'll have, I'll have to look it up now. I can't remember where it was. But yep, we used fish on it. Jesse May is back. I like that uh, Eagle Cove. All right. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and close out YouTube. So, John, if you want to jump back over here. And Kelly. If anybody wants to jump back from YouTube to TikTok, you can go ahead and do that. And I'll close the YouTube live down. That way, everybody ain't got to see us sitting here just chatting. The painting's actually over. So, all right. Thanks, everybody, for joining me over there on YouTube tonight. I really appreciate it. And now that i got my charger back, I'll be back on YouTube more often. So, maybe y'all can see me more. So, all right. Thank y'all very much for being here.